be reviewing and doing a mini with my friend Andrew. His uh, fingerboards that he makes. He's got four cons here. His homemade one, autographed. He's got this two tone, or I don't know what to call it really. Uh, a one he made for me. And then another one. Two, these are both two different kinds of wood. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, they're all different shapes, as you can see. Uh, these three are the same shape. And then this one's a different shape. So. Alright, guys, this is the uh, medium kick low con cave board. It's very nice for your kick flips and stuff. Alright, guys, this is the medium kick low con cave board. It's uh, got pretty, you can't really see dips in it, but I mean, you can see where it comes up right there. It looks very nice. It's actually very nice to use. It's one of my favorite boards, honestly. I mean, I. Comparison to a Berlin wood, I mean, I, I like it so much better. Like, my kickflips on a Berlin wood, see, they're not even that great. So, um, this is better. I mean, I like it better than the Berlin wood new mold. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty even with the Berlin wood old mold. Um, but the n new one I don't really like. I think it's kind of crappy. But, yeah. Um, you can, I'm not sure if he'll be making any more of these. But, uh, if he does, I mean, that'll be great. Here, um, but his newer boards are this one, which is the G2 mold. It's got five plies, and it's got medium concave, medium kicks. He can do a lot of different kinds of veneer and combinations and stuff. I got this one as a simpler combination. Um, I honestly think it's a great board for doing, uh, kick flips and nollie flips on and stuff. I can do, I mean, they have a lot of control there, if you can see. <clears throat> They're longer than a tech deck. Like, that's where the tech deck fits and it ends, like, right there. So, they're a lot better than tech decks, for sure. They have more concave and stuff. But, like, normally if you can tell if a board's long is because if you have to put a line in FPS, usually it means it's long. And on all of the boards, uh, we had to put lines in the FPS just because uh, there wasn't enough to fit the whole thing. But it was fine. I mean, the line actually helps a lot if you're doing, like, switch, like, hard flips or something. Or switch trays or, whatever, or like, reverse and stuff to, like, let me get back to normal. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good board. It's got solid pop, and, uh, it's, I mean, just, just listen to that. It's, um, he's also got concave in the kicks, if you can kind of see, which is really helpful. That's also something that they have on the Berlin Wood New Mold, but it's not that great there. Here, it's pretty good. It's, it's a different kind of concave, though. It's inverted concave. So, I mean, if you can kind of see, there's concave on each, on the tails, but it's, it's different. It's not like, it's not like where it's coming in. It's going out. So, I think, I think that's honestly pretty cool, because it's more like rocky like that a little bit, and it makes it easier to do your, like, knowledge flips out and switch flips out and stuff. Um, so yeah, this board's really great. He's got the, uh, the G1 right here. Uh, very nice board, honestly. Um, I, I didn't find any problems with this one. I thought it was really nice. I mean, I just, literally, lacquered it. It has a very smooth coat of lacquer on it, so it slides, like, perfectly. It has four coats of lacquer, and they're sanded between each coat to make them shinier. Um, they're very nice. He's got just pretty good drilled holes. There's one that's missing. I just think they're great. I mean, comparison to this Berlin wood, they're pretty equal. Um, the newer ones are at least equal to them. 
Uh, but yeah, he's done a very good job with them. They're all handmade boards. I mean, I honestly, I just feel that they're just perfect. I mean, I don't know if perfect's the word, right word, but I mean, honestly, in comparison to a finger deck, uh, I think that they're the same. Um, comparison to, I mean, a finger deck, I mean, the shape's pretty good. The shape's pretty much the same. I mean, if you can kind of tell. It's not the fully the same. Um, they're about the same width for a 29mm finger deck. He also has this G3 mold. Um, this one's a very nice mold. The only problem with it, I think, it's a little flaw. It's not nothing bad, actually. Is that it's a little... There's, um, the kicks aren't as defined as the other boards. But I didn't see a problem with that. I thought that was, you know, something that could be worked on or whatever. And I thought it was, um, I thought it was a great board. I mean, I, I didn't really see any problems with it. He's, um, now he's going to be doing dyed plies. Let me go get one. Yeah, they're about 29 millimeters uh, wide, 102 millimeters long. Very nice. Um, they'll be about $20 for the... Uh, G1, G2, and G3 will be about $20, and if you want a G1, or I mean an old mold, they're gonna be, they're gonna be 25 I guess, I mean, I talked to him, he said 25 that's why I just got off the phone with him, but he got a new mold in stock, so, this is his new mold, he'll be using, it's a very nice mold, I, um, I had a board that was in the process of being made, with a dyed ply, which he can also do, he can do dyed plies, um, it was a orange one, but I seem to have misplaced it. But yeah, um, he'll also be able to do, uh, paper graphics, like this one. Uh, that, those paper graphics I'll be doing. Um, so if you just email, uh, like the website of a picture, like go to Google Images and then type in a picture, do view full size, and then copy that and email us that, or... So whatever, mail it to us, PM us, whatever. Um, we can get that. On, we can try and get that on there. Um, the only thing I suggest is with the white boards. I mean, with like a white graphic, that it doesn't come out fully white. I mean, if you can kind of see there, it's a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit of the wood through it. It's the only bad thing about it. I mean, but besides that, it's pretty good. I mean, they slide. I mean, I can't tell the difference on sliding with them between that and a normal, I mean, this board, so, um, the other thing is, <clears throat> rip tape and stuff, if you want that, um, we're not going to be doing that right now, but maybe in the future, if a lot of people want it, because they don't feel like going and buying a pack, they just want it for, like, their one board or something, we'll do that, and we'll put it on there for you, I mean, we might even be able to, if you, like, cut a design out in it. So, um, expect maybe, like, rip tape or FBS or whatever in the future, maybe in, like, the next, you know, month and a half-ish, two months. Um, but, yeah, we could do that probably around Christmas time and stuff. So, if you guys just want a board, we're probably going to have a website up soon. And, um, once we get one, we'll put it up. Products, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'll be really good. Um, we're also going to be doing rails soon. Uh, kind of like this flat face bike rack. Um, and kink rails, like the morning wood rail. Um, I got, we're experimenting with a shotgun rail. So we're not sure about that one. But, um, we could do that. We could also do, uh, round rails. And we're gonna get some more square metal to do square rails. But, um, the square rails, the square rails are harder. And personally... I'd get a bike rack or a square rail, um, because, um, just, a bike rack is just so much, like, it's got a little bit more space than the square rail, and the square rail, I mean, 